Hi Pisces, welcome to your general forecast for the end of March. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could be love, general, career finance, finance. Just going to take the energies as they come. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Please don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. It's not your story. Um, this could be past, present, or future. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female doesn't really matter so let's see what we have for you Pisces at this time I do say at this time if this doesn't resonate for you you can check the description box below for your 11 general playlist along with the decks I'm using social media links how to reach out for personal reading if you'd like to tip donate send a gift all that info is below in the description box as well as the pin top comment if you're not comfortable um, donating or exchanging energy through PayPal if you wish to do that if you watch this through the premiere and the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges and donations. And if you do, thank you. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you at this time. This is Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign element or planet and see what comes out here. And then we'll get an opening message for you with this deck. And then one for your energy at this time. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at your actual situation, whatever comes out here. And then get advice, possible outcome extra messages with the healing fairies and at the end I have this new these new cards I have uh, purchased at the Dollar Tree and they are prayer cards but you could also call them affirmation cards so I'll pull one of one of those for you at the very end so Pisces let's see what we have for Pisces at this time what's going on with Pisces so we have air energy Libra Gemini Aquarius but doesn't have to be. So this is all about truth, clarity, everything to do with the mind, open, honest, truthful communication, ideas, imagination. So air is everything about the mind and communication and clarity. All right, so let's see what's going on with you Pisces and that with that energy, or you could have a Gemini, Libra, or uh, Aquarius around you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or maybe you have air in your chart. So let's see, or maybe you need clarity on something or um, will be receiving clarity. So let's see what's going on for you, Pisces, at this time. Pisces, Pisces, at this time. Let's get an opening message for you, for you, Pisces. What is the opening message for Pisces at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. The opening message for Pisces. What is the opening message? Message for Pisces, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. I'm going to take that one. We have the Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So this is the Ace of Cups. So this could be a brand new beginning in love, or it could be, um, it says a new uh, emotional experience some kind of fulfilling romantic relationship or some sort of spiritual insight or spiritual awakening or a spiritual rebirth or something like that or it could be just an energy of a new beginning and being peaceful calm being in a loving caring compassionate energy so we'll see see how that plays in so what is this ace of cups about what is your energy right now what is that energy about for pisces what is Pisces energy? So that is your opening message. So you have some sort of new beginning here. And it may be emotional, maybe spiritual, and maybe about love. Or Pisces. All right, let's see what your energy is like. So we have the five of Ariels, the five of Pentacles. Your you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So this is about Five of Pentacles, about being left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected, monetary lack kind of energy. Hmm. All right. So before I start reading, let's we'll see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Four of Gabriel, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burning some situations. So this is the Four of Wands energy. So this is about celebrations ceremonies marriages commitment stability in the home life <clears throat> so i just want to say pisces i did get over the flu a few weeks ago but i still have a lingering cough and a little bit of congestion 
So if I do cough from time to time, I'm just apologizing in advance. So please be patient and any rude or negative comments will be deleted. So thank you. All right, so the four of wands here. So that is my twin flame card, but I'm not saying it could be about twin flames, but there is some sort of lack here in a home life or stability uh, in a home life. There's some sort of lack, so maybe lacking stability right now in a new beginning of some kind. All right, so let's see what's going on for you Pisces with this energy. I want to say thank you to all who have supported my channel in any way. Thank you, thank you. And as a thank you, I am having a giveaway. So you will win a free tarot deck along with a free 20-minute reading by me of your choice. So to enter the giveaway, check the description box below in the pinned top comment. It's open through March, and then I'll close it, and then I'll pick a winner, and you'll get your tarot deck and a free 20-minute reading. So if you're interested in that, Please follow the instructions, and uh, good luck to you. All right, Pisces, what is all this energy about? You have a stable home life, but then you have a new beginning, but then you have lack and neglect of some kind, or monetary lack. Oh, that's way too many. This could be like a brand new beginning. Maybe some of you, maybe you, some of you have just started a new beginning with a person, I mean, you could have just gotten married or moved in together or something like that, because this could be about moving in. And maybe right now, times are hard, times are rough. Uh, maybe you're not making enough money or something like that. But I feel like the air energy here is here to shed, because it always reminds me here of divine energy. So it could be shedding light and clarity on the situation for you. So if some of you have just moved in with somebody, feeling somebody new, or just started a long-term relationship with somebody new, but there's some sort of lack, a feeling could be monetary. Uh, maybe somebody just lost a job or maybe, you know, something like that. And you're trying to make ends meet and having a really hard time. So uh, air energy is here to shed clarity on this situation. So, yeah, and as I said, the, the king of swords. So whenever I get the king and queen of swords or the ace of swords, again, that's with the clarity in the mind and the whatever, it reminds me of divine intervention. And this... King of Swords, again, all about true clarity kind of energy. So <laughs> what kind of clarity are we shedding on? And now we have the Knight of Swords. Wow, I can't make this up. I think <laughs> I think Divine here really, really needs to send you a strong message here with between air and now we're getting two air cards. The Knight, Knight of Swords is a fast-moving energy here, uh, rushes in. So I feel like this is an urgent message for some... Pisces who may have started a new relationship or just moved in or just gotten married and all of a sudden something happened here where times are hard, times are tough and really, really trying to make ends meet here. All right, so let's give Pisces the clarity they need on this situation. What's going on here? I'm, I'm getting like you will get through this. You will get through this is what I keep hearing. All right, so... Pisces, do you say that to each other, to you and your person? Or they say one says it to the other kind of energy? Okay, Pisces, so here you are showing up in your reading with the moon energy. So this definitely is a message for you. Not seeing the path clearly, not sure uh, what's going to happen here with the moon energy. Feeling a little uncertain. And we have the Hierophant here. So this definitely is a commitment or marriage of some kind. And we have the chariot. Wow. So this is about um, positive movement forward. So I think Spirit wants you to know to keep keep striving forward, moving forward as hard as it is right now. Things will balance out. This is the uh, chariot of victory. And moving forward to success, victory, balance. Having a lot of determination, drive, and passion. It's like moving forward, though. You can't see how. You can't see clearly in the moonlight. Feeling, feeling a little disheartened, <coughs> uncertain what's going to happen here. This definitely is a marriage or commitment of some kind. I'm feeling it's new. You're trying to get ahead, trying to get ahead, trying to make ends meet. But it's, it's like you don't see it happening. Yeah, the hermit. So it's like you don't see it happening. You feel like here... You know, you've tried every everything, you've thought about every way, every method, every 
possible way to keep driving this chariot forward, to stay stable and grounded, to make ends meet. The hermit is shedding light on the chariot. And the moon is shedding light, though it's not completely lit here. You know, you still can't see clearly. But there's some sun here in the background. So, yeah, I think you're, you're, you know, you're trying really hard here. Trying really hard. All right. What's the actual situation? Three pentacles working. So maybe working two, three jobs um, between the two of you. You know, learning something new. And it may be... Um, like a low paying jobs. Here's what I'm getting also. All right, what else for Pisces? Okay, so we have the Three of Cups energy. Two threes here. I'm not getting like there's any kind of third party involvement. I feel like I feel like there's like someone here could be working to it. Maybe one person's working one job, one person's working two jobs. That makes three. I'm getting like two, three jobs here. Maybe working here. Maybe try to go out and unwind after work. Working all day or working two jobs, trying to relax, unwind. But the star here, here is here for faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true, healing energy, divinely guided energy. And it's right under the hermit. There's something divinely guided here coming in that you may not see, especially with the moon energy. Now we do have the two of cups. So this definitely is about soulmates here. <clears throat> now there's only two. <clears throat> so I do feel like this is a soulmate couple here. But we have the high priestess. So this is about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Um... can be about secrets or um, kind of keeping quiet. You know, maybe, and maybe the two of you aren't speaking about the rough patch you're in right now. Maybe you're not telling anyone. Maybe you're embarrassed or, or ashamed. Um, kind of keep it, keeping it to, between the two of you by to yourself, pretending everything is okay when really it's not. I see, you know, socializing with friends, but yet keeping what you're going through really to yourself. A lot of work here with the Three of Pentacles, but I don't think it's like enough. It's not high paying job enough to pay the bills or whatever here for some reason. Uh, okay. I mean, you could have children. I'm not getting any cards here that there could be children, or maybe you're trying to have children. Maybe you're trying to save money so that you can start a family and you're just not making enough to start save to start a family. All right, so let's see. I want to get a little clarity on these two threes here. What is that about for Pisces? Peace spirit, thank you so much. Why are these threes here for Pisces? Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody, uh, this is fast action, travel, movement. Yeah, somebody uh, here... Very fast-paced action. So somebody, I feel like, is working a lot here with the Eight of Wands kind of energy. Like, constantly, constantly going, going, going. Yeah, like a fool here. Like, working like a fool here. <laughs> the fool energy. Working like a fool. That's what I'm getting. Trying to unwind after work. and uh, But, okay. So let's see what's going to happen here. Let's get some advice for you Pisces. Pisces, let's get advice for Pisces, Pisces, strength, so stay strong and vigilant through this rough patch, this tough time, but you have infinite symbol here, infinite supply, so I feel like infinity coming back around, having infinite supply, though you're not seeing it right now, just remain strong and confident and grounded, get, get me through this, eight of pentacles, so now we're advancing from the three to the eight, so again, working hard, a lot of hard work here. So <clears throat> I feel like we have two people hard at work, working, 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 trying to save, 
trying to pay the bills, trying to save enough to start a family. So now we're going to the eight. So maybe somebody's getting a raise all of a sudden or promotion. Now learning something new, mastering a new craft. Two of one. So being a little bit at a crossroads, having to make a decision here. So let's see what else for the advice for Pisces and being trapped in the head here. So I feel like here could be an opportunity for we go from the three to the eight like like that so i feel like could be the opportunity here to learn something new or a raise or promotion maybe a promotion or something like that or even a new job and somebody may be uncertain whether or not to choose this path being a little trapped and bound in their head maybe they can't do it or not fit for it but just know they ask whoever if it's you or your person you are strong enough to do this to get out of your head that you can master this and be able to rise as you see this one standing above a rise above the problems right now you can rise above the problems here because now you have even more pentacles here than before all right so let's take a look at the possible outcome here oh i wanted three we have three so we have the two of swords again about being indecisive about something here not wanting to make a decision but we do have the king of cups that's your energy pisces so this could be about you needing to make a decision about maybe a promotion or something like that being a little bound but just know that if you choose this direction you can end this cycle with the world here that you're in right now and start a new cycle new cycle can happen here all right so so you may be indecisive, but if you choose to end this cycle, start a new cycle, let's see what will happen. Let's see. That's too many. All right, so let's clarify the world. Let's clarify the world for Pisces. The hangman. So you're still going to be your energy again, so still being a little stuck about this decision to either take a promotion or something like that to make more money to get ahead. But I see things would go in a better direction here if you choose this new cycle. Four of Pentacles, so you're still holding back here, not sure whether or not to invest in this new opportunity if you, if you should take it. It's right there for you to grab, but you're not sure if you should take it. You're still hesitant and indecisive. But there, there it is. There it is now. Taking it, taking hold of it. So ultimately, and there's your brand new beginning. Uh, fulfillment. Stability, growth, expansion. Abundance, prosperity for the long term. Never having, having to worry. So I see by accepting this offer, could be a new job. It could be a promotion, like I said. And I think you're going to be hung up and hesitant about this. If it's not you, it could be your person. But I think by accepting this, you're going to end this cycle you're in now. And you'll have growth abundance for the long term and you won't have to worry. You could stop this family or whatever you're doing here and the cycle that you and your person are in. And be more stable and grounded in your home like with the four of wands energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So there you go. Definitely with a soulmate here. Could be with them for a very long time. Soulmate energy. Seven of wands. So don't give up. Don't, you know, back down. Keep fighting. Again, Wondering what to invest in. Should I invest in this? Should I not? Assessing your situations here. And here's the offer coming in again with the Page of Pentacles. Stable communication or an offer. Queen of Wands now having that fiery, passionate energy now to finally pursue this with determination. And getting justice in your situation now. Things balancing out. Uh, coming out of this cycle and having the truth and clarity and the justice that you need in your life at this time. Page of Cups, so there's could be children here uh, with the Page of Cups in manifesting this brand new beginning for you, your person, your family. So we have Gemini, Virgo, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Libra, we have um, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 
Let's see. We have almost like everybody here. Uh, Gemini, Libra, uh, and Aquarius. We have Taurus, uh, Virgo, Cancer. That's you, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Cancer. Uh, Pisces, Leo. Cancer. We have Taurus, Leo. Aquarius. Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, I mean, we have like everybody here. So, wow. So, if you can seize this new opportunity, you can end this cycle of lack between you. And if you're alone, and you know, whatever cycle you're in now and you're feeling like um, monetary lack or lack of some kind, but if you accept this offer here, you can end the cycle you're in and you'll have growth and pros prosperity for the long term. Just have to get over uh, this indecisiveness. All right, so... But if you are with your person, you will get through this rough patch. All right, Pisces. Let's get some closing messages for you, Pisces. I do ask Pisces, if you are new and you like my energy and style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Right now, right now I do five readings a month, two love, two general, and a bonus. I may be switching the readings or changing that. But if you head on over to my community page on my channel, and, and you will find two polls there. I would love everybody to participate in. It will give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like per month. And also, I've been thinking about doing extended on Vimeo so if at a small price. So if you're interested in those two subjects, please go participate in the polls. Be greatly, greatly appreciated, and thank you. So let's get some closing messages here for you, Pisces. Pisces. You will get through this. That's the main message. You will get through this rough patch for Pisces. All right, Pisces. We have here, moving forward fearlessly. So keep moving forward. Don't give up. Keep fighting on. Accept new challenges, new opportunities to learn something new, to end cycles, to start new cycles. What else? And we do have quiet time here. So we do have Virgo there, which is that quiet time. So really thinking, contemplating about this. And uh, finding and knowing that you, you can do this. And new opportunity. Exactly. So a new opportunity is coming in here for you, Pisces. And you may take a minute to think about it. But by grabbing this opportunity, it will change... It will change your world. All right, Pisces. Let's get a prayer affirmation for Pisces. All right. What do we have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. What do we have for Pisces? Wow. Okay. We have, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So again... You know, having a little bit, bit of fear about this new opportunity, but know that this will bring in wonderful opportunities for you and a wonderful future if you seize this and you will get through this rough patch, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.